Saturday, Saint members had reason to celebrate today as church leaders opened their first temple in the former Soviet Union. President Thomas S. Monson was in Ukraine for the dedication, and so is our Carol Makita. This is now the 134th operating Latter-day Saint Temple, and it's historic because it's the first in what was the USSR. President Thomas S. Monson and President Dieter F. Uchtdorf led the new temple presidency and their wives to the cornerstone sealing ceremony. But first, President Monson spoke of what this temple means to the Ukrainian saints. Now we look forward to the dedication. It will the day you will ever remember. It's a, a day of freedom. As is tradition, several children from the crowd participated in putting a little mortar along the edges. It felt so great. I was so close to President Monson and he even shook my hand. And I think that was the greatest event in my life, the greatest thing that happened to me. Church members participating in the three dedicatory services could not help but reflect that this day has been a long time in coming. President Hinckley announced a temple for Ukraine in 1998. But government delays in purchasing the land and then construction permits held up the groundbreaking until 2007. Until now, the Ukrainian saints had to travel 33 hours to the temple in Freiburg, Germany. It is very incredible. The, the, the spirit was so strong and it, it is just hard to, to explain them and hard to describe the feelings that I had in the temple. In 13 years of our membership, this was the first time that our, our family was able to, to go to the temple, and the feelings there were incredible. Faith is once again deeply important here. More than a thousand years ago, Prince Vladimir, ruler of all the Russians, brought Christianity to this land, the Orthodox faith from Constantinople. The gold-domed cathedrals are open after the end of communist rule. Now, after only two decades with a presence here, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has built a temple. Many Ukrainians came out of curiosity during the three-week open house, amazed, they said, by its interior beauty and the feelings they experienced there. More than 1,150 of them want the missionaries to teach them more about this faith. Those who were inside the temple with President Monson for the dedication are overjoyed. I felt, I felt great. Uh, it was great to be there and, and you could feel that you're just ascending to, to heaven there and, and you feel like it's a great temple that will be able to serve uh, Ukrainian people. This temple will now serve more than 31,000 Latter-day Saints in nine Eastern European nations and it opens tomorrow. Church members say it has given them hope, not only for themselves, but for all of the citizens of their countries. Carol Makita, KSL 5 News, Kyiv, Ukraine.